topic today is necessity of sound scriptural conviction. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness River Movement Worldwide Shot from Horemon. Hallelujah. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing? God bless you. It's another beautiful day. And today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in Him in Jesus' name. Thank you for being here. This is every word of God for daily living. <music> Thank you, Father, for this moment. I give you glory, honor, adoration. I worship you. I exalt you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, we're about to hear your word. Come and teach us your word, O God, to enlighten us, O God. The necessity of a Christian. Jesus, help us to know, O God, our responsibility, what we ought to know, what we ought to do, or what you expect from us. Come and teach us how to please you, O Lord. I open up my heart, O God. Yes, Lord Jesus, speak to the heart of your people, O God, to heal, to deliver, to bring understanding, O God, back to the heart of the simple Lord. Jesus, to know, O oh God, and to be able, O oh God, to perceive, to design, to know how to go in these evil times in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak to us, all the powers and forces of darkness against the children of God for living righteously and holily in the name of Jesus. I bind you and I declare the judgment of God upon you in the name of Jesus. Get out from our midst this moment. Oh Lord, speak forth your word. Let it call with power to heal, to deliver in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Holy Spirit, I submit myself before for you. Come and speak through my mouth, O God, to bring salvation. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I adore you. I worship you. Yes, Lord, be thou exalted. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our test today is taken from the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19 to 21. I read, We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Here unto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. The prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. A key verse thing for the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 32. Remember Lot's wife. I take our reading. I am Sister Eva Awellen Anab from La Paz Unit, Accra, Ghana. God led me to Horemon, which is Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide, through a series of dreams and events. While in secondary school, I loved the dressing of Deeper Life Sisters and I attended retreat programs occasionally, although I was a Methodist. I was just so happy the way Pastor Kumuyi preached and taught about sanctification and holiness. I learned a lot from them. How to live your life day to day holy. I followed their teachings because I loved their lifestyle. I didn't know why they do not wear earrings, but I joined them in, in not wearing it. The teachings of Pastor Kumuyi helped me a lot to talk, to walk in purity, to walk in purity, in holiness, practiced to practice it and to leave it from all my heart. Concerning and dormant, I had no scriptural understanding. So when I later got married, I went back to wearing them. I didn't spare my hair as a youth. I left it naturally. I was natural. I used the silicone thread for plating, but I went back when I got married in the Church of Christ. I went back to wearing of earrings because I never heard that the earrings would take someone to hellfire. I never heard anything like that. The day I permed my natural hair, I dreamt that I was falling into a deep darkness. When I got up, I prayed, but I didn't understand it. In 2019, I had a testimony of of a Jehovah Witness brother Kobena on radio and later on YouTube. He was talking to 
heaven. He was taken to heaven and hell and brought back to testify. He warned about adornment. He said, I saw women tormented in hellfire for using jewelries in hellfire. I saw my mother who died as a member of the church of Christ is in torment in torment for wearing earrings, rings, trousers. I didn't know I was practicing the right thing as a youth in Deeper Life Church. I saw that it was nice for wearing long skirts and keep natural hair also. I only joined them to do so. I never had understanding. If I knew that these things were requirements for heaven, I would have held on to eat, but I went back to my earrings, lipstick as an adult. Yes, these are what people are doing now. Adults, oh, if I even children are waiting to grow up to become a, an adult, oh, so that I can paint my nails and put different kind of cortex colors on my nails. I can put lipstick on. Yes, I can do hair. Yes, like mommy, oh, like auntie, oh, like that, my teacher, and walk like this and wear short skirts and wear heels. These are now the aspirations of children because these things are not taught in the church. These things are not even told why we should do it because you see there in deeper life, they only just say, but they don't go deep into it to say that this can take you to hellfire, that God actually hates it. They don't have revelation. If God don't give us revelation in Horemon, it's like we are not hearing from God anymore. God gave us the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, but we also need even revelation out of the Bible. So people that said, I don't, I don't believe in revelation. They are telling us they don't believe revelation in the Bible because it was totally or purely man that came and tell us, oh, this is what they received from God. And yes, God endorsed it. That is why he's there in the Bible. So sweetie, you need revelation to live. You need revelation. You see, she said, God gave us several dreams to come to her. That is revelation to several dreams. God gave her a lot of you. I believe that this, that this testimony will be given to us more as we, as we go ahead this, uh, maybe this week or next week, God will help us in Jesus name. So my dear, I used to put up all these things. I used to put in on fake lipstick. You're as dark as me, but you want to become fair. You want to be as fair as my palm. When you are, when you're as dark as my face, you want to change your color leaves. Mine is already pink. And you want to have blue. You want to have black whatsoever. You want to have pink or, 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 or red. But God has given you those beautiful colors. You have a, a, a black eyeball or brown eyeball or green, and you want to change the color or oh, your hair is, uh, you're trying to train it but you don't even know how to take care of it because your mom did not teach you because your mom's moms did not teach her your mom, mom t- taught your mom how to use relaxer and how to permit and how to straighten that's what your mom taught you and you haven't taken the the time to learn how to take care of your god-given natural hair which is so sweet and beautiful and makes you 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 want to put different color and fake it and make a lie when god says whosoever that make it a lie shall burn with a fire so God has said that he, when he created you, you are good, but you said that God are not good enough. You are not good enough to make me. You do not know what you have done and you, you did not create me well. Oh, you would have made me a white lady that your hair is slippery and I just comb and then it's easy to go. I tell you, if God had made you a white lady, you would have said, oh God, you would have made me a, 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 a black lady so I can have the full and the buggy hair. God created you and you said, he said you are, all, all God created, he said that they are good. Why not appreciate God for who you are? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now you take natural hair. You don't even put makeup. Oh yeah. But nothing will take the trouser off your legs. They are female trousers. They are male trousers. Why are they not male skirts and female skirts? Why don't a man come and wear my dress now? So that I will know that, oh yeah, they are male dresses and they are female uh, uh, whatsoever. The Lord says that we should be decent in everything and we should be moderate. It is not decency for your buttocks to be showing your trousers as you are going. Even if you wear the long, the long uh, thing to cover it, why is it going to be between your parts? Tell me, okay, go and stand and pee. No, we have to call the spade a spade. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like maybe harsh or something, but we have to call it what it is. Please take a touch to yourself. Go and seek the face of God. Go and pray concerning these things and say, God, 
do you really mind do you really care all these things a revelation just came that sister linda had i don't know if you heard about her sister linda porica go on youtube it's revelation and the returning back of the backslider something like that a, re a revelation just came newly go and listen to it go call all these things a cost when and god has, she, she, god called this a cost in her dream and it has also been called before in the time of moses he said take this accustings from my presence take these things out of my presence until i know what i would do with you god called accustings the gold you walk on in heaven that is like soil mud to you because that's what we are working on gravel stones whatsoever you call them that they put on the floor ties on the floor that is what you are putting in your ears let's say gold is the let's say it's one of the less material in heaven that is why we what they work on it in heaven so you're putting it you're cherishing it and we see there are other precious stones and precious quality things that we we don't even have the name for it because heaven is everything one can ever dream of and still surpasses it yes you can dream of something when you know how to imagine about it but if you don't even know how can you imagine how can you know so please it's a time to recover ourselves go and take deep thoughts go and pray ask God you see the Lord revealed to this lady Ask God to please reveal to you that you want to know these things. You want to know for yourself. And if you're a true child of God and you have a relationship with the Father, the Father God will speak to your spirit. He will speak to your heart. I have seen God done it. Many people, they did not accept it. People, even friends of mine, did not accept it, but gradually they are dropping it. You will see it. They are now doing this and doing that and stopping this and stopping that. The Lord will speak his heart, his mind to you. Only if you open up and you really, really love the Lord. If you love this thing, the love will blind your eyes. But if you really love God, the love of God will radiate in your heart and give you the power and the strength to drop all these things and follow him. Follow the Lord. Take up your cross and follow him. May the Lord give you grace. May the Lord uphold you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord give you the power to drop all these accustings and follow the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our thought for the day says, don't turn around to the things you have left behind. Some of you, when you started growing up as a, ch as a child in your parents' house, your dad, your mom did not allow you, just like me, they didn't allow me to pull lipstick. Oh, it was not even her uh, hair that we should put lipstick in our mouths. But gradually, gradually, start putting on a little makeup, light makeup, much makeup, long hair, small earring, long earring, hair, black hair, brown hair, gold hair. Start getting a stream. Oh, baggy trouser, now tight trouser, now penny, now tight trouser. Start just getting and transforming gradually and now you, it's not like the norm in the house. It's what is now normal that anybody can do. It's no longer a sin. Now nah, God understands. God doesn't understand. God is yesterday, today, and forever. Return back from where you have fallen. Return back to the place where God, where you have left God. Return back to that place. If God wanted you to put ear in, you would have made a hole in the, in the ear. There is a hole in the nursery. There's a hole in the ear. They both have purpose. It's to breathe. For you to be able to pass your air. You don't pass through the air from the ear. You pass it through from your nose. You do not hear with your nose. You hear with your ear. That is the purpose of the hole. And every other hose in our body have a purpose. There's a purpose. If God wanted you as a woman to have an ear on, he would have put a hole in your ear. But this is the will of a man. My mom pierced my ear. Oh, I don't know how they did it. I've never asked the question. So, my dear, go and pray. Ask God for revelation and God will reveal his heart to you. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Father, for teaching us today like this. Oh, God, we pray, oh, God, that the heart and the mind of people, oh, God, will be, will be open to your word, oh, God, that worldliness will, they, 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 they will drop worldliness. They will drop their lifestyle. They will drop this thing. This accustomed is wasting their resources, wasting their time, drawing them far away from you, costing them their eternity in heaven. Father, Lord, open their eyes, that their eyes of their understanding may be alive, that they will know that these things you hate, 
hate it. That these things you don't want to reveal to them. Many people say, Lord, I want you to reveal to me. Me, I want to know by myself. Lord, give them revelation. Have mercy. I pray. I intercede for them, Lord. Give them revelation. Let them see for themselves. Oh, God. Oh, have mercy, Lord Jesus. Of course, they have to believe and fear and repent and turn to serve you in true holiness. Father, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. I bless our day in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit shall be well with us. I pray that every step we take today draws closer to you. Give us the grace to walk in the path of righteousness, O God. Father, anytime the trumpet sound, help us, O God, to go with you, Lord. I pray the Lord. For as many have not given their life to God and you want to give your life this moment to the Lord, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I confess my sins. Begin to confess your sins before the Lord. Say, I confess my sins. I repent for my sins. Forgive me, O Lord. I will not go back anymore. Give me the grace, the strength, the ability to be your child. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that soul, Lord Jesus, that has given his life to you. I pray for grace and strength and enablement to stand in holiness and righteousness and work in the path of righteousness. Oh Lord, I pray that you will help them, oh God, that nothing will take them back again to sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I rejoice with you if you just gave your life to God. Please go to on YouTube, Pastor Porica, on Facebook also Pastor Porica. Start to watch messages on salvation. Whatever message you desire, how to have the Holy Spirit, how to be sanctified, to pure in heart, to be free from sin. Go and watch Pastor Porika on YouTube and the Lord will use his messages to these messages that come from God to transform your life. Bible, we only preach the Bible, we don't preach any man. It is Jesus we preach. The Lord bless you, cause his face to shine upon you, give you grace to stand holy and righteous in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you.